Hey, this is Melinda Caldwell. Thanks for checking out this video today. Today, I'm going to be discussing alternate day fasting and some tips um, on how to really do alternate day fasting successfully. And I'm also going to discuss some of the benefits that I've experienced and in this way, in this protocol of, um, of eating. And if you don't know what alternate day fasting is, it's just what it sounds like. Um, you eat every other day. Um, now I'm at a point where I only fast three days a week and I eat the other four. So Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are my fasting days. Normally, depending on what events are going on, then the other days are my eating days. I find that a lot easier for me so I don't keep losing weight. I'm at a point where I don't want to lose any more weight. Um, October 17th, I started my journey of weight loss. I was 176 pounds. Um, very depressed. Uh, 176 was pretty big for me and so I was really starting to feel it. I was having pains in my body. Nobody could explain it. I was eating very unhealthy. I was addicted to Pepsi. That addiction probably went on for about 20 years. Um, I was drinking Pepsi every day, wine every day, chips, anything you can think of that would uh, make me feel better, I was eating it. And after a while, it just compounded and I gained the weight and I couldn't fit anything. And so I'm like, okay, I have to do something. So um, started off with the keto diet, that started accelerating the weight loss. And then when I got to alternate day fasting, that's when everything just took off. So um, right now I am at about, let's see if I can put this in the mirror, in the camera. Right now, I think I am at a good weight. I am about 148 and I would like to maintain um, this weight. I don't want to get any smaller. Um, obviously, there are always things that you would like to um, change. Um, like I've had two kids and so I still have like a little, uh, I, I have, you know, a little extra fat in the belly. There's just things that you want to tone up and, and that's where I am right now. I'd like to now start doing some weight so I can tone up my arms, tone up some things in my body. But you know what? I am happy that I can fit back into my clothes. So um, that that's where I am now. I still do alternate day fasting. It is just a way of life for me. I'm used to it. My body is used to it. It knows the days that I'm going to fast and it has just really worked for me. It's not for everybody. And when I talk about it to some people, they really think that I'm crazy, but it works for me. And, and you have to just really figure out what works for you. So let's start off with some of the tips that I have. So I did write these down because I did not want to miss, I, did, I wanted to give you everything that I feel could really help you with this. So the first tip that I have for you is do not be afraid to modify this thing. Um, I know people say, well, when you modify, it's not really a fast. And the way that people modify alternate day fasting is they will allow themselves on their fast day to eat 500 calories. I wanna fix this chair. They'll, they'll allow themselves to eat at least 500 calories. Um, if you are going to modify, I highly suggest that you do not break those 500 calories up. I really suggest that you go at least 16, 18, 20 to 24 hours and then eat that 500 calories all at once and then allow and then go into the next day. Um, I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't do like 100 calories here, 50 here, 100 here because you still want to have the benefits of fasting. And so I would say at least give yourself 16 hours or more before you eat that 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 500 calorie um, deficit or not deficit but um, before you eat the 500 calories if you're going to go modified um, now if I am going to go modified it really depends on what activities um, I have so let's say there's like a, a family dinner or an event and we're going out to eat um, we're all getting together. I don't want to be sitting up there just sipping on water. So there are always ways that you can go to a restaurant and create a 500 calorie meal. A lot of restaurants already have uh, the calorie count on there. So I will have maybe like a chicken salad, um, whatever. I'll just make sure that it's less than 500 calories. And that that is uh, <clears throat> because I'm used to, to going 
36 hours without needing to eat. I will do that if I have an event. Also, if I know that I'm going to be extremely busy, if I'm going to, if I'm planning on doing a very heavy, heavy workout, I will do a modify. I will allow myself to have 500 calories that day. Or if the, the next day I'm going to be working out really heavy, I still like to be, uh, have a little bit more uh, food in my system. Um, I, I will work out fasted, but um, there I just have different reasons why I will go the modified route. Your body will get used to doing whatever you want it to do. So at this point, and it's only been a little over two months, um, I can go a full 36 and I'm fine. Um, so please don't be afraid to do the modified version. You will get used to, to not doing it. And if you want to stick to modified, that's fine. This is you. Don't let anybody tell you what you cannot do with your, uh, with your fast. Um, the next thing I have is plan your meals in advance when it is your 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 eating day. Um, when I got uh, when I got started, I had already started eating uh, the ketogenic diet, which is uh, higher in fats, modified proteins, uh, low carb. So that really helped me. I'm not telling you that you have to do this. Listen, on alternate day fasting, you literally can eat whatever healthy lifestyle you want. I do not recommend. Um, just gorging and eating crazy on your feeding days. Pick a healthy diet, whether it's low fat, low carb, you know, whatever. Just make sure you are doing your best to eat healthy. Now, for me, um, I, I was so addicted to sugar that I kind of had to tailor it down. Like that first week, I kind of just had to look at what I eat and I said, okay, I'm not gonna drink a Pepsi today. If I have a huge craving tomorrow, maybe I'll have a can instead of um, two, you know. you know. So you just kinda look at what you're eating and try to start tailoring it down. This is a long-term process. Um, so let's say you, you, you're heavy with the carbs. Um, you know, eat half of what you would eat. Um, you know, yeah, eat half of what you would eat. If you drink a lot of juices and, and I mean unhealthy juice or uh, high carb juice or, uh, or soda, do half of that, like tailor yourself down and then really start to say, okay, like I did, okay, I don't need to drink this Pepsi anymore because number one, it got way too sweet. Um, and so I would say, okay, I'm going to go down to diet and that's what I did. And then after a while, I just didn't need it anymore. So take your time. But do not gorge yourself um, and completely eat crap when it is your feeding days because that stuff is not going to sustain you. I like the ketogenic diet because it keeps me full. So pick a diet plan that is going, that, that is going to sustain you um, during your eating days. Um, I like to have, when my 36 hours is up, uh, usually I like to break my fast with berries and um, uh, some low sugar yogurt and then I like to have like a, a very uh, I like to have a nice breakfast and and what will happen you will find on when you are doing keto or and or uh, intermittent fasting is that you're not going to be as hungry as you think you're going to be after 36 hours of not eating you're going to think oh my god I'm just I, I, I'm, I'm ready to eat but then after that first meal, I'm telling you, you're going to be very full. So plan out your day of eating um, because your body is going to be used to not eating so much. Your appetite is not going to be as big. And sometimes that can be frustrating because when you are on your days that you're not eating, you start thinking about, oh, I can't wait to eat this tomorrow or oh, I'm going to make this recipe tomorrow. And then you eat one big meal and you're like, oh my God, I'm so full and you feel like you really can't eat the rest of the day. So, you know, really plan it out. Um, you know, you'll probably really only want to eat two meals, uh, but I really try to make sure that I am satiated because I know the next day I'm not going to eat for another 24 to 36 hours, depending on if I modify it or not. So eat healthy, find a plan, modify uh, the the bad things that you're eating and work your way to health. 
Uh, the next thing I have is accelerate your weight loss with doing some type of movement. Uh, when I started my journey a couple months ago, I didn't do a whole lot of movement. I worked out maybe three days a week and sometimes it would just be for 20 minutes. So I would just make sure that I was doing something. I would get up and I would just do some jumping jacks, some squats and some, some sit-ups. Uh, I really, I was so out of shape that I felt like I just had to move. And so I really would suggest trying to find activities that you enjoy. Um, I really like kickboxing. And so that was something that if I got on YouTube and I found someone doing kickboxing or beach body on demand, I really enjoyed it. So it didn't feel like a chore. So if you like to dance, if you like kickboxing, if you like running, whatever it is, do things that you enjoy. Don't do exercises that are going, that you're going to get up and dread to do. Um, so definitely, but do some type of movement, get your body going, even if it's just walking, even if it's going up and down the steps a couple of times, even if it's when you, go, when you're standing in front of the microwave, doing some jumping jacks, I would live, I'm so busy sometimes. I literally would not have time to really plan out or just take 20 minutes or 30 minutes to work out. If I went to the microwave and I was waiting for something to heat up, I would do jumping jacks while I was uh, waiting for the microwave. If I was in the bathroom and I was about to do, use the bathroom before, and I know that's a little TMI, but I would do some sit-ups. I'm not sit-ups, but squats. And then I would use the bathroom or, or whatever. I, I would just find ways to take a break and just get some exercising in. So just move. Um, the next tip I have for you get used to people calling you crazy get people looking at you weird it's normal people now people have been fasting for years and years and years and for some reason people think that if you fast you're going to die don't get discouraged by people's uh comments just do what is best for you um next thing i have on my list is allow yourself to modify for events i was talking about this a little bit earlier um you're going to have things that you're going to want to go to and sometimes they will fall on your fasting days. Use that 500 calories during those events if you want to. Um, this really helps when you have birthday parties, when you have family gatherings and you don't want everybody, you don't want to be the talk of everybody. Why aren't you eating? What are you doing? You're going to kill yourself, whatever. Use those, those days to modify. Trust me, it will help. Um, drink tons of water. Um, my my body feels so much better that I have replaced all of that unhealthy soda with water. Um, I am not a natural water drinker. I still don't like to drink water, but I do it because I know it's healthy for me. My skin has cleared up so well. I, the one thing that I love about it now is that I barely have to use a uh, foundation. I will put it on, but I used to cake it because I had so many spots on my face. I, I was having all kinds of bumps coming everywhere. And so now my skin has cleared up. During my fasting days, I will drink um, apple cider vinegar with, uh, I'll squeeze a little lemon in my water and apple cider vinegar. And I'll have some in uh, during the day. Sometimes I'll have some um, um, in the middle of the day, like around a lunchtime or something. And it just really keeps me full for me. I just drink it because it keeps me full. Um, there's so many benefits to apple cider vinegar. I'm not going to go through that in this video, but I would suggest that if you're going to do alternate day fasting, incorporate that into your fasting days and even in your non-fasting days. It just has some really great benefits. Um, next, I would say, okay, have a plan. Once you hit your goal, um, I hit my goal really fast. Uh, like I said, I was 176. Now I am about 148, between 147 and 148. I've kind of fluctuated a little bit. Um, have a, a, a plan after you've hit your goal because you'll keep losing weight. Um, and so now I'm at a point where I don't want to lose any more weight. I really just want to get things toned up. And I'm excited because I'm going to do some videos um, and, you know, just showing how I'm going to get myself toned up. I'm going to try to get the belly toned up. If you can see outside, it's snowy. So hopefully by the summer, you know, I can be toned up in my belly and some areas. I'm planning on going on some trips. So I'm excited about that. Um, but have a plan. So my plan is I will probably incorporate a little bit more carbs in my diet. And when I, and the carbs that I'll incorporate is like 
um, maybe like um, a little bit more apple. Like I don't really eat apples now because they're high in carbs, but if I'm going to work out um, on a fast, or if I'm gonna work out, you know, maybe I'll have like a half an apple, maybe a few grapes. I, will, I am gonna start incorporating a few more carbs, just uh, some of the fruits. Not, I, I'm not gonna incorporate any like bananas or uh, pineapples because they're, they're very high in carbs, but um, I'm gonna use it as fuel. So incorporating a few more carbs, I, I don't need the bread, I don't eat that anymore, I don't need the pasta, I'm just used to not eating those foods on the ketogenic diet. Um, but just modifying the keto a little bit more, um, sticking to just three days a, a week fasting, allowing myself to have those 500 calories just so I can maintain, I don't want to lose any more weight. So have a plan. And I, another thing is, is I want to eat even healthier. Like how, what can I do to eat even healthier? Is, is there, are there things that I need to, um, should I, is there a better supplements that I need to take? So just trying to get as healthy as I can, because I believe that you're either going to spend the money on food or you're going to spend the money on medicine. Um, so I'm going to try to be just the best shape that I can be. It's actually December uh, 31st and we are about to go into a new year. So I'm so excited about 2020 and um, I'm just I'm just going hard with the health. Um, next, let's see, have a plan. Okay, find positive activities to accompany your new lifestyle. So <clears throat> what I mean by that is um, I was in a very bad depressive headspace and this wasn't that long ago. Like I said, this is back in October. It's, De it's December 31st right now. I started this journey October 17th. Um, and so what I had to do is I had to really start changing my mind. And um, it wasn't just about, okay, I'm going to tell myself that I'm smart. I'm going to tell myself that I'm beautiful. I'm going to tell myself that I'm healthy. I'm going to tell... Those are great, those affirmations, but I had to start pouring positive things inside of me. Um, like listening to positive motivation like Tony Robbins, Jim Rohn. Um, there's all kinds of people that I just keep on a playlist because um, even some of the music that I was listening, listening to was just kind of sad and depressive. And I just had to start changing up some things, um, um, getting back into reading a lot more, turning off the TV, turning off Netflix, um, turning off you know, just things that do not serve me, like the news, um, just incorporating anything that is positive because what you're going to put in, in yourself is going to come out. So, you know, find a good book, um, find some people that you are attracted to, to listen to. For me, it is always number one is Tony Robbins. Like he has changed my life. Um, when I've gone through just ups and downs, I know that if I need some positive motivation, Tony Robbins and Jim Rohn, they were just people that I could just pop in and, and it just give me a boost. So um, find people that resonate with you and start listening to Audible, start going to YouTube and just finding positive people to pour into you. Um, start finding, if you are around like people, like friends that are negative, start looking for friends that are positive. Just, just start pouring into yourself. Not, you know, it's gonna. If you want to be healthy, I, it's so much more than just eating right. It's gonna be a mind thing, and so um, really start finding positive activities. Um, for me, when I was happy, I was eating. When I was sad, I was eating. Every when I was just in a regular, just whatever mood, I was snacking. So start finding activities to do that will take the place of eating all the time for no reason you definitely want to eat because you know it's 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 fuel but you know many of us just eat because we're bored so just start finding some activities picking up a book whatever you know go for a walk go to the mall and just browse around you know whatever find other activities outside of eating all the time um let's see what else do we have here Okay, so the last tip that I have is really once you hit your goal and you're or you you know you're getting towards your goal, um, really do a self check and think about the the new confidence that you have. You can't tell me that when you lose weight, even when you lose five pounds, that there's just 
there's there isn't this confidence that you have that you didn't have before i remember just losing that first five pounds that first 10 pounds did it for me i was like okay i could do this i'm going to make my goal um and you will you will start feeling confident so don't you know stay in that motivation and think about okay what else do i want to accomplish i have been making uh you know youtube videos for years ago back in 2007 i started making money online um i've always been an entrepreneur entrepreneur i've always um worked online in some capacity, whether it was selling on eBay or Amazon or Poshmark or selling my own products or whatever it was, and then I stopped. Um, and so for a period of time, that was depressing to me that I just stopped and I just went into a job and was just like, forget it. But that was, I was so passionate about that. And so losing this weight has helped me rejuvenate my business even more even though I've always sold things online it was just kind of like a little side thing some little um some money on the side but now I'm ready to to I have so much confidence now that I'm ready to just go crazy with it now again I'm ready to start creating more products and building my online business and building my um, website back up again. And there's, there's just this newfound, hey, if I did this, if I lost this weight, I could do anything. I can I can rebuild. I was, I was getting so depressed about turning 40 and like, oh my gosh, I've, I've wasted so much time. I've wasted so much of my life. Um, I shouldn't be at this point. And that was the biggest thing for me. Like when I was 40, I was, I wanted, to, it was my thing when I was in my 20s, I'm gonna retire when I'm 40. But it didn't happen I, and I still work a full-time job. And so now I have that confidence to say, you know what, I am going to go part-time on my job and I'm going to get back into um, you know, what I love, which is online marketing. And then I'm going to be able to quit my job. So I just have um, this confidence and this motivation from <clears throat> doing this, just this little bit, just losing this little bit of weight. It has, help me feel like I can conquer anything and nobody's going to stop me. 2020 is the year for me and 2020 is the year for you. So if you are in this place of depression, um, uh, you feeling kind of worthless, you're feeling like, oh, I'm overweight or you're just, you're, you know, just get started. We are going into a new year. Just get started. You may not start with alternate day fasting. You may just start off with a 16, eight fast where you're you're fasting for 16 hours and you're eating within an eight hour period. Just get started because when you get started and you see a little bit of change, oh my gosh, you're going to feel so good about yourself. So I hope that these tips have helped you. Um, um, I, you know, if you have any questions, if you, if, if there's anything that you'd like to know about what I'm doing in, in my uh, journey, please leave a comment below i'd be happy to answer any questions feel free to subscribe because i will be coming out with some really great videos in the future so once again thanks for watching this video about alternate day fasting and happy new year